Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing something new I picked up. It's a high point 10 millimeter carbine. The model is a 1095. And when I saw this at the store, I just couldn't like stop looking at it. And I'm like, you know what? I want this thing. I want to buy it. So here we go. Let's get into this unboxing. All right. So it comes in this little cardboard box, nothing fancy. Um, let's see what's in here. I guess they give you a sling. That's pretty nice. Comes with the, all the stuff you need to attach the sling. Get this out of the way. And here is the magazine. So, looks pretty solid. I've never had a high point before. It fits 10 mil or 40 Smith & Wesson. Um, it doesn't say how many rounds it holds, but it looks probably like around maybe an eight or 10 round single stack magazine Let's see what's in here so okay based on what the guy at the the store the gun store is showing me this is the charging handle I'll show you how that goes on right now and what is this Let's see. I guess this is a lock it's like a safety lock for the trigger I imagine I'll, I'll get into it in a little bit um, let me see and here's the included tool this tool right here is what you use to disassemble it and to put the charging handle on. It fits on right here. Cool. Um, let's get this thing out of the box. So, here it is. I'm going to put the charging handle in here so I can clear it real quick. It just goes here on this side right here. You just thread it in there. And it's not all the way in yet. I haven't tightened it with the wrench, but it's enough to be able to check in here. So, it's clear. All right, so first impressions, um, the grip is really comfortable. I like the grip a lot. It actually feels solid. And then this pad right here, it's like a gel pad. Let me get this thing off of it. It is pretty tacky. That's actually, it's kind of almost like sticky. I guess I'm not a fan of it anymore. I had only felt it through the plastic, but I hope that tackiness goes away eventually. But comfort-wise, I think it's gonna be pretty comfortable. It's kind of kind of tacky, kind of sticky. I don't like it. And then this right here was mentioned to me at the gun store. So it's a 10 millimeter, so it has a little bit of recoil, a little bit of kick, and this absorbs most of that because of the spring in here. Shouldering it, I can see just fine through the iron sights. Everything's at my level. The safety's right here. It's pretty easy to access. I wish it was ambidextrous, but it's not. Oh well. And let's check out how this magazine fits. It's empty. I guess it's pretty solid. Let's see if it drops out. Yep, release is pretty free, pretty easy. And yeah, I, I like this thing. I mean, it has a rail up top, so I can take off this little iron sight bracket here, put a red dot on it for the, for the scope. I'm gonna be using this mainly when I go back home to um, hunt pigs with this, so I'm probably gonna put a red dot on it and see how 10 millimeter does against those pigs. This thing's pretty solid. I paid $350 for it, and um, it's pretty nice. Nice little high point, model 1095. Oh yeah, one more feature. I forgot to, I almost forgot to mention this. It does have a threaded barrel. Pretty cool. You can put a um, suppressor on it. You can put a little flash hider, whatever you want. Muzzle brake. So that's one little added feature I almost forgot to mention. But yeah, um, hopefully I can get a shooting review done pretty quick um, on it. I'm gonna register this thing tomorrow and then I should be able to take it to the range pretty soon. I'll show y'all how it shoots. And um, hopefully I can find some 10 millimeter ammo in stock and it doesn't cost me a fortune as well. But um, thanks for watching guys. Um, have a good one. Please like and subscribe.